Hello and welcome back. So in here we want to separate the header and the footer from the main page. So let's go back to our index.blade.php and inside our views, resources views, right click, create a new file, save this one as header.blade.php, um, save that. So let's come back to our index blade. So let me take a look at um, what is part of the header. Now you see this information here far, far away. If I come back and click here, this is part of this segment here, right? Uh, it's part of the header because we need to be able to click on this at any moment. So this whole thing up to here, where it says end canvas. This is all part of the header. And then there's also this part here, which has the Twitter icons and all that up to here. Okay, so the only part that is down here, uh, we should only end where it says container fluid down here. So everything above this will go to the header file. So cut that inside the header, paste, save. Okay, very good. Now, once we come back into the index page, all we need to do is say at include header, like so. And that's it. So we've included that. And if we come back and refresh, we shouldn't see a difference. Okay, very good. Everything still works fine. Very good. Okay, so we do the same thing with the footer. So footer starts here where it says footer because the articles end here. So footer is here. And so let's get everything up to the end. Cut, save this and create a new file right inside the views, new file, paste, save the file as footer.php. Don't forget the dot blade dot php. Okay, very good. And then now we come back to the index page and do the same thing at include um, footer this time, like so. Okay, and we're done. So for as long as we've included those, we should see our JavaScript still working fine. Okay, pretty cool. Now let's change the name of our application. So to do that, let's go to the env file, which is inside the main folder here. And this is the app name there. So let's change it to magazine or whatever the name is that you want. So we changed it there. It's no longer Laravel. And if I now go to my, uh, where is this, my header, because that's where we have that heading. Let's see. I can't seem to find it here. Okay, there we go. It's right here magazine with a TM at the end. So you can uh, remove the trademark if you want or just leave it there if uh, you like it. So let's use blade here, double quotes, and then let's use a function called config, which is part of Laravel config app dot name like that. Okay, great. So let's come back and we don't see a difference. So just so we can see a difference, let me, uh, let's try and do that. My magazine, let's see if that works. Okay, so clearly it doesn't work because uh, we need to put, I think it doesn't accept spaces there. Let's try that without a space and we get my magazine. Hmm, interesting. But uh, if we want, now, of course, you don't need this to be dynamic. You can get this from the website, uh, from the database, sorry. If you want to, you can save the name in the database or somewhere else. But another thing we can do is use a common um, string replace, a common function string replace from um, uh, PHP. So we're just going to 
tell it to search for an underscore comma and replace that with uh, empty string like this and then at the very end here I will close the bracket like so let's see how that works if it works at all okay there we go now instead of replacing it with an empty let's uh, put a space like so and that looks more like it mm -hmm. okay so my magazine trademark and uh, yes everything uh, looking good so I think for now we are done with this. Let's go to the uh, single page now where we can, um, because once we click on this, we go to a page not found, but we need to be able to go to a single view page here once we click on one of these. So before I go, <clears throat> excuse me, let me look for all references of HTML because all those are links to pages. So let me find. Okay, so it seems there's only one. So there's index.html referencing the home page. So here we will do the same thing we did using blade, say URL like this. And then inside there, we just put our slash because that's the home page like that. Okay. And then if we go to um, the main page itself, the index page here, we have a lot of references to uh, single.html and uh, yeah let's fix that in the next video I'll see you then